The Tickets Bad Radio whips out their 16-pound balls for bowling for spares tomorrow at Showplace Lanes in Eulis. Brought to you by Sonic Drive-Ins and Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. Good afternoon, everybody. This is the hard line here on Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. We are broadcasting live from Irma's Southwest Grill in Houston at the corner of Austin and Texas. It is hard by Minute Maid Park where tonight the All-Star Game comes down. And that's where we will head at 6.30. So this one's going to be short if we may invoke the words of the great Levi Stubbs momentarily here. All right, it is time now for a funny bit. Right, Mike. Well, last week I told the most awful story, the tale of my grocery store experience, where I went in and I got behind a lady who was probably in her 80s, and it took a good half hour for her to work out all her issues. She forced the poor Which was checker. Her right. Hang on, Greg. Well, it was her right. I mean, you, and you were being unreasonable. She forced the checker to go make, you know, unnecessary price checks on certain items. Uh, she questioned the validity of said price checks. She was just a general pain in the ass. Very Bitch. typical Mike. Uh... I'm not saying very typical of, of the elderly, but, but she it was like she had an agenda there, you know? And the whole time I'm telling the story, you guys are bagging on me. Oh, what a sorry blah, blah, blah well, you I'm are. I'm sorry. I mean, it was probably an old lady that was on a fixed income. She was conscientious about her, her prices. I'm so sorry. You know, and she wanted to make sure everything was right. And you know what? There you are trying to rush her along. And it was just uncalled for. Well, let's take a listen to some of uh, the things that, you know, Grego, let's say, was, was saying in particular about uh, the situation. Do you want me to flip you a couple of bucks? Oh, how rude. It's not rude. Oh, my God. Get on with this, Kevin, I, I'm beginning to think you hate old people, too. It might be an old lady on a fixed income. It doesn't that, that matter. 50 cents to her is a lot. Well, she right. might need what? to put her coach's purse on eBay. Right. What about this lady why do all you people time? hate old people? No, Greg, you would have no. flipped out. You no, flip out in either. traffic sure. when old people are in Absolutely front of you. Absolutely not. You I would have sat right there. And I would have supported that old lady. And really? I said, you know what? I'm right there with you. All right. That was good. That was good, Greg. Let's listen to another uh, defense of the old lady. Oh, go you, ahead, humanitarian you want, Grego. Well, no. Hey, I'm consistent on this. Would you want anybody talking to your grandmother like that? Order. Would you want anybody saying, Snape. can I flip you a couple bucks Order. to your grandmother? Order. No. Snape. Okay. Then why would you say that? To somebody else's grandmother. Well, mine are dead, both of them. Well, so, is, so are mine. Snake. But I guarantee if I was alive and somebody said that to my grandmother, Snake. I would whip their ass right there in the line. Even if your grandma was an inconsiderate pain in the ass like you know that what? old lady was? Yeah, I would have, because my grandmother could do no wrong. Oh, God. There's I love mom, grandma, apple pie in America, he's, Grego. He's pretty staunch <laughs> in his defense, though. Yes, he is. Let's listen to um, a, a few more. So you got to knock off that 79 cent ravioli. Well, you damn you can't right do. I don't want to pay for something that I didn't get. So I tell the I mean, lady. I'm on a fixed income too. <laughs> uh, okay, that might odd. be the uh, the first lie of the <laughs> <Yeah>. night. <laughs> I don't know how many people on a fixed income can fly out and catch the red eye at 6:30 in the morning. I'm not paying for it. The uh -huh. company's paying for it. Right, right. All right, carry on. I think. We're not paying for this overrun. <laughs> well, I hope not. I do. Keep I playing. do hate young people. Well, there you go. What's the difference? A lot. What? Because you don't have to show young people respect. You do older people. Am I right on that, Runs? Totally. Wow. All right. So in the heat of battle, this segment's over with, and I was really upset. I'm going to be honest with you. I was mad because of the way you guys basically treated me and Kevin and Danny on the air. You guys were completely wrong and they were in just, what you they said. Were being, what do you mean we were completely I think, wrong? Hang on. Wrong? I think you were being opposite just to be a contrarian. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. So, I mean, within a nanosecond of that segment being finished, I run, I grab the mini disc. They're on remote, so they, they're not in the same room with they, us. They have no idea what we're doing. 
And Greg, I'm sure you what know. Do you mean he I know. I know where you think. You probably know where this is going now. But the what minute, had a the, shut up. The minute the segment was over with, tell him to shut up. The minute you shut up too. The minute the segment was Don't over tell with, tell me to shut up. Hey, shut up. Screw you. Here, Punk. here is what went down. Grego. Yeah. All right. Seriously, what would you have done if that old lady was in front of you? You're the, there is no way that you would have. You would have done the exact same thing I did. Don't hey, this lie. Yeah, right. see, I would not have put up with that. And I'd have kicked that bitch right out of the line. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're the biggest <laughs> liar, man. <laughs> Why do you do that to us on the air? I don't. You just did. Perfect. You're breaking Corby's balls on the air. Then you go off the air. It's like, I'd have killed her. It's my job to bust y'all's balls. <laughs> what evidence do you have of it? None. But, seri no but, one will believe it. but seriously... Seriously, you would have you would have flipped out, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, are you kidding me? That's happened to me before, and I have flipped out. What'd you do? I used to say, hey, you know what? Won't you let me pay for your whole basket of groceries? <laughs> <laughs> So would you like to just retract just a little bit of how adamant you were on old people and how you defend them and how, if that was my grandmother. <laughs> no, but what a dirty, rotten trick okay. that was for you. <laughs> what do you expect? Yes, yeah, I would not have put up with that. I would have kicked that bitch right out of my mouth. <laughs> I would have kicked that bitch right out of line. <sighs> Wow. I would not have put up with that. I would not have kicked that bitch right out of the line. Oh, God, that is so shocking. <laughs> so, you know, y'all need to quit doing that. that ain't, that's not funny. Oh, yeah, right. That's not fair, is it? No, it's, that's not funny. Where you, you know, roll secret tape. I'm going to start rolling tape on you guys. So Go ahead. Use you a mini disc. <laughs> roll, baby. Roll. No, I will. So I'll get you guys caught in something. Would you like to take back some of the stuff you were saying, too? I didn't say anything. Really? Yeah. Were you who were you supporting? I was supporting the hammer. Right. So, would you like to retract things now? No. I don't have anything to retract. Uh-huh. We'll get you too. You watch it. You're next. Yeah, you are next. Okay, bring it. I'd like to hear the montage. Yeah, I believe Turley put together something a little special too. Well, okay, <laughs> Turley doesn't need to be in on this crap. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah, I you keep are always in a hurry to do yes, anything. Yes, I am. Right. But I still don't. But what? I am not, Here's the hypocrisy. Here it comes. But what? I am not disrespectful to older people. I'm not to kick that bitch right out of line. Liar. <laughs> liar. Liar. Not liar. I'm not to kick that bitch right out of line. <laughs> not liar. Kick that bitch right out of line. <laughs> not liar. <laughs> bitch right out of line. There you go. There you go. Wow. Not Turley. Don't Thanks, think Charlie. I'm not going to make a mental note out of that. <laughs> Boy, victory, what a, us. What oh, a what a flimsy victory at best. <laughs> okay. Yes, but I a victory not nonetheless. Not to kick that bitch right out of the way. <laughs> Boy, this is where the rise of one Mike Turley comes to an end around there. I'll tell you that, too. <laughs> well, that's what you get. Thanks for playing with us, fellas. That's what I get for what? We appreciate for it. being a liar. Yeah. Oh, I didn't lie. <laughs> so, what were you doing? I don't know how y'all did it. <laughs> Boy, it was tricky. <laughs> we hit record yeah, on a recorder. I'm not to kick that bitch right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> 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 That's the real Grego right there. No, it's not. Behind the and scenes nobody, hammer. And nobody knows it. Yeah. The nobody hammer. believes that. <laughs> Obvious edits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this behind the music, Grego? Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> the real story. As he was, like, ripping up a line of coke, he's, I don't know, I kicked that bitch right out of line. <laughs> Obvious edit. You know what, Charlie? Next time you edit something, why don't you do a little bit better job of editing? It sounded great to me. Oh, yeah, you got me saying that. kick and bitch and it everything. You put it all together. Very slip shot, Turley. <laughs> Come on. Like, like, I really, like I really said that. <laughs> all right, the yeah, ranch report with... Yeah, okay, 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 that's enough, okay? Okay. <laughs> The Ranch Report with Mickey Spagnola is on the way here on the ticket. On the way here on the ticket.